Hi, my name's Holly. I'm a trainee clinical physiologist at the Neurophysiology Department in City Hospital. The Neurophysiology Department, um, they do tests on the brain and nervous system. Um, so we basically do a few different kinds of tests. Um, we do EEGs, which looks at the brain activity, which is mostly used for uh, diagnosing epilepsy, but can sort of indicate other um, brain disorders as well. We do nerve conduction tests, um, which look at how the nerves are working. EPs, which look at, um, which are sort of a mixture of the two, where we look at the pathways up to the brain. Um, and we also, um, as uh, physiologists, we assist the doctors here with um, EMG tests, which is looking at how the muscles are working. I came across it by chance, really. Um, I'd done my degree in psychology. Um, and was just looking online to see if I could find anything where I could use that. Uh, I added my CV onto NHS Direct and just came across it one day. It looked interesting, so I came here for three weeks just to sort of observe and look at what they did. And I found it really interesting, so I applied for it. You had to apply for the course at Wolverhampton Uni and uh, apply for a job as well. So um, I got a few interviews, this was actually my first interview, I thought it was going to be a horrible week of interviews. This is the first one I got it and so I came here. I, think I like the I like the one-on-one -on -one time with the patient because most of the tests are at least half an hour long. You get quite a lot of time to, to talk to patients. Also it's, it's quite a hands-on practical job as well. You learn sort of technical skills and you obviously sort of improve and you get more experience. I've got one year left now, it's a four year course. So after that year I will then apply a job here or elsewhere, depending on you know whether there's jobs available. And then I will be a clinical physiologist. And then from there there are other tests that that we can do here, which I'm not doing at the moment as a trainee. So as you sort of gain experience in other tests, then you sort of move up the banding, um, and sort of eventually getting to senior clinical physiologist. You should be able to do everything that the department does.